Um, thank you to accept this uh, discussion about this relation, this new relationship in, in between design and society in this moment of confinement, in this uh, very special moment. What do you think about um, what, what brings this, con uh, this condition to uh, rethink a little bit our uh, attitude of creation, our profession? Okay, thank you so much for uh, invitation. Uh, I, I uh, take it as a kind of distinction and the honor uh, for myself. So thanks a lot for that, uh, that you care about my opinion. So, um, you know, first, uh, when the first news about the uh, disease uh, were published, I didn't believe it is very serious. So we are uh, suffering on the flu. We are suffering on plant of, of plenty of uh, uh, diseases around the world. And it's happened in my family. My uh, sister is seriously ill and I um, deal with doctors during the last few months and I was shocked how bad the medical services are organized generally and uh, I start to negotiate uh, with them what we as designers could do to do uh, to help to manage it better for people who are seriously ill and families who has no knowledge medical knowledge and they are really very scary in some situations because obviously COVID is a very dangerous kind of virus, but people are still suffering of many, many serious diseases and they are in a similar situation individually as we are here as a whole community. So this is a kind of uh, a warning and a um, signal that something doesn't work. Very good. So uh, I, I think I, I work also on this confrontation with uh, design of hospitals because I think uh, we we can, from this uh, point of view, exactly. opt again um, the, the the design. And this don't mean only to be in a functional only functional situation. I think we need also in this place more sensibility, more. Uh, no hospitality at all. Absolutely agree. When we entered, uh, we, you know, when, when you are uh, seriously ill and uh, it might be an accident, it might uh, suddenly uh, occur, uh, uh, occurs that you need uh, an emergency and uh, um, fast aid and you are coming into the uh, hospital and you face uh, uh, the door with uh, plenty of um, leaflets, plenty of uh, text information. You are completely lost. You don't know this uh, place. You are under stress, so your uh, minds are cloudy. Uh, they, they, you, don't clear, um, you don't think clearly. You are, um, you are uh, completely uh, scared everything is frightening you know you you need to to get some uh, psychological help you need to release you need to start to do things uh, rationally and in order to save someone's life and it is not easy so uh, this is completely not organized in in a normal hospitals during the normal time so without any diseases, mm. I can imagine that in the time of the of the plague, it is even worse. Mm. Uh, I'm very interested, Eva. Uh, you you uh, see this evolution in between. Uh, I, I will say the socialist way of construction uh, public hospital and this liberal way, uh, and we have now to invent a third one, a third third model. And uh, what you reflect about this, uh, these two elements? 
I think uh, the mm, during the uh, mm, medical um, medical study, mm, uh, I I mean not only doctors, I mean also also nurses and all of the people involved in the medical services. They are a lack of uh, the design component, so they don't think uh, how designers uh, think about the processing of the problem solving. So they have no idea how the problems could be solved step by step and how they could be organized better. More, they don't respect this kind of uh, thinking because they think and um, artists, they are to make world more beautiful. So put the beautiful flowers, maybe a convenient, uh, comfortable uh, furniture or the walls decoration, but not to participate in organization of the process. And it is visible sometimes how irrational and how crazy the process is. In example, with my really very, very hard uh, ill uh, sister, we were waiting like sometimes four, five hours for uh, the doctor to talk to him like five, ten minutes maximum, you know, and she was uh, really extremely tired by that. Now they try to organize it, uh, appointing uh, on uh, the particular uh, day, uh, time, etc. So they try to make it more uh, order it, but what m must happen to start to think about uh, that? It's it's crazy. It should be part of uh, of uh, the study, part of teaching learning process. How to organize uh, uh, contacts? How to organize relations? How to talk with people? They should be educated on on that. In my opinion, did we don't. Um cut at all this machine of hospital to the society. We, we take it away, we, we think this is, uh, yeah, this exceptional element who is out of life. Uh, yes. But at, at, in reality, uh, hospitals is the first place of our life and probably the last also. Uh, Yes, I absolutely agree. Uh, plenty of years ago, I, I uh, attend uh, uh, open, an open heart uh, operation in the hospital, uh, and it was uh, on the uh, heart surgery department. Uh, they allowed me to come in uh, to make some photos and to observe it. It was fantastic experience. It was so, so beautiful. Uh, the uh, um, man in uh, middle ages, like in his best uh, um, condition, he was under operation and the doctors made the best to save his life. They take his heart out of the chest, they carry it, they repair it, they put it again and everything uh, was turned on again. It was like a miracle for myself. It was such a beautiful, I was really moved how human beings can help each other. And it was the moment I start to think, um, usually during the ordinary life experience, we are talking about earning money, uh, producing the new kind of weapons uh, to, uh, to kill people to get their territories to to have more and more and then we have this opposite uh, situation in which people are in a group together to save somebody life and it is you know it is like the opposite uh, mm. Mm, attitudes which which are still going on which are still happen like that mm. But the environment of one is the contrary of the quality yeah, of the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very specific for for uh, for us as the um, as the animals, I think, as the part of animals world. I, I come a little bit back to to this question: What this cries change for you as designer? Uh, I started. Uh, I started to use more uh, online uh, contacts, teaching, and uh, 
uh, talking uh, with people. I put more attention on virtual world, which wasn't uh, so much interesting and important for myself because I think of generation reasons. So I like uh, direct contacts, you know, uh, real uh, human beings around myself and real friends. I have, I haven't, uh, I haven't virtual uh, friends at all. So obviously I have a lot of contacts with people who are real and we are corresponding or talking on new media like uh, chats, uh, like uh, Skype, like uh, Teams, anything. But I know them all as a physical human beings. I've never contacted with the uh, with the virtual uh, person. So um, now it it changed a bit because some of my students and attendants I don't know personally <laughs> they are existing yeah. only as the names in the internet and and uh, you you are a little be in uh, this school who is in between Japan and 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 Pol Poland uh, uh, Tokyo and Warsaw I think um, you you are in this at all you have really a um, a competence at to to uh, work on this um, distancing uh, in between countries, in between cultures, and uh, to bring it also together physically, but probably also uh, for a part uh, virtually. Yes, that's true. We started uh, as a, one of the first school in Poland with the e-learning and uh, our school offered a uh, nomad uh, virtual platform for education. We try to use it also during the international project Alien, paid for education on migration. But you know, there weren't really big interesting for this kind of uh, learning. Uh, students uh, weren't uh, so uh involved and we decided this is maybe not the best way so obviously we we used skype or another media or records to present uh, lectures and uh, presentations of people who are foreigners and can't reach our conferences or workshop uh, but it was in incidentally this year first time jan he will uh, tell you probably later on and Jakub, uh, two teachers of our school, they are uh, working for cross-cultural uh, workshops, which will happen in April in the three various time zones. So uh, Japanese, uh, Americans, uh, Europeans, they will work uh, at the same week using the various zones on time with our students, and we will see results. And after that, I can say, how it works globally. Mm. Very good. So it's uh, this bring us in new new challenge at all also. Huh? Exactly. Yeah, but the point is how this challenge can uh, have a durability after the crisis. What will we uh, learn on this, and what will happen after this uh, this moment of confinement, with the. Uh, um, <laughs> with uh, hope that uh, we don't uh, will be permanently in this uh, kind of uh, uh, yeah of prison. Yeah, in my uh, yeah, as you said, uh, uh, if you are closed and you can leave, uh, in my you you know I I need to underline uh the specific of my brain because you know i have behind myself experience of the communism uh the the, uh, the locked borders uh, all of the restrictions etc so i i don't think as a really young uh, generation so in my uh, in my brain it is uh, like a kind of uh, oppression and then uh, obviously, thinking about future, I think, uh, okay, now we have this contact in the internet, fine, I learned something new about virtual uh, world, fantastic, uh, it's crazy, I like it, it's so young and refreshing, but on the end, I wish to return to the regular uh, world, 
on which I can meet my friends physically, shake their hands, hug them and kiss them like I used to do. So for myself, this is just like, a, you know, the break in my regular contacts. It's a fantastic uh, end of your...